All right, you know the old saying, 90% done, 90% to go. And this is where all the contractors go crazy. And to get a good result in your project, you have to be a stickler for details. But frankly, you don't have to be that much of a stickler. You just have to use a little common sense. Now you see that pile of wood that's left over? And you see that pile of wood that's left over? Well, they had all that stacked up right there, but they didn't do the final repair. Now I put it here because I wanted to guarantee that there was plenty of wood to do what I want to do. Now, let me show you what has to be done, okay? Well, there's a bad piece of wood here. This has to be replaced. I mean, obviously you can't just fill that, right? But if you look at this, if you want to do it right, this wood's already been repaired. You got surface nails here. You have some water damage there. That's never going to finish out right. Same thing here. Okay, uh, there's water damage there. So you can sand this and you can try to make it look good. Same thing, you've got some damage there. All right. Well, the easiest thing to do is simply to take all this wood out from here to here and replace it. I mean, that's the simplest thing to do. Why try to cut this out and fit it in and surface nail it and cover it up and then see how you can finish this rotted wood out or this water damaged wood and make it look good. It's going to be harder. All right. You've got the wood here. It's just taking it out and putting these last couple rows in. That's the right way to do it. So what do you think I'm going to do? Well, if you've seen my drywall videos, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my breaker bar. I'm going to rip this crap out. I'm going to stack the wood up here and I'm going to let them know that they have to put this wood in on this final section. Not 90% done, 90% to go. I'm looking for 100% done and 100% quality. I don't go with the highest bidder because I want the lowest bidder quality. If you're going to come in at highest bidder prices and I accept your highest bid price, you better deliver on a highest bid quality. That's it. Otherwise, come in and bitch about the fact that everyone's going with the lowest bidder. I don't go with the lowest bidder. But when I don't go with the lowest bidder, I don't expect lower, lowest bidder quality. I expect highest bidder quality, period.